considering the personal need he had for justice, the um, need an entire nation had for justice, that was an incredibly brave thing to stand true to. And I'm meeting him in person, you know, he's, he, he's, he's, he was talked about, I think, in the Washington Post as the, the colonel with a conscience, and he certainly does have that. So he was incredibly forthcoming when I met him and his wife, and uh, he was amazingly helpful. I was trying to understand who he was before we meet him in the film, so I could inhabit him and then have him react in, in this drama to everything that unfolds for him. And uh, he even gave me his um, the gold marine wings that his father, who was a dentist, had actually smelted out of gold for him, um, handmade, and uh, said, you, you must wear these on the day that you... To know that I had that blessing was incredibly important and to be entrusted with that artifact alone was incredibly important. So, um, yeah, I was, I was really honoured to, um, to bring his story to the screen. Taha is a very subtle actor, but he always has an imprint of charisma and personality in his characterizations. He's just, he's very cool and just very easy to spend time with. And there's a searing intelligence behind all of that, but it's never demonstrated. It's, there's a lot of humor. I mean, it really did marry well with what comes off the page and, and how Mohamedou had sounded when we talked to Mohamedou and uh, himself. So it, it seemed like the obvious choice from the very beginning, to be honest. He has an economy of style in his performance. Um, which I, I think is very, very useful for this because you, know, you want to be very close to this character because of the confinement, because of the duress of what he endures. It, it just it goes on. And you also want to really, really feel for him. You want to like him. You want to be with him and root for him. At the end of the day, this is a celebration of the human spirit, this film. That's really what it's about. Um, it's not specifically about a political stance or um, knocking an administration or a political point of view. It's about a human point of view of um, what we can endure and what we shouldn't have to endure and how to take solace from that and to realize the human spirit is a pretty extraordinarily robust entity. And he, and Muhammad is literally living proof of that. Ugh, oh, I mean, what can you say about Jodie? She's just so unbelievably lovely. She's whip smart, funny, easy to work with, um, helpful and collaborative. And, um, and yeah, of course, you know, the fanboy me is going, I'm going to see me Jodie Foster. I, I can't not have those moments. You know, I've grown up watching her films and uh, directed films as well as acted. And, uh, you know, um, yeah, I'm a huge, huge fan of her as an actress and a director. And I just, to have the opportunity to work with someone like that is always a learning experience and a joyful one at that when they're that pleasant. Kem's got this uncanny knack of making the everyday and the known and the historical, the actual factual, very entertaining and feeling like it's fresh, feeling like it's happening for the first time in front of you, even if it's um, a historical event that's well documented. And, you know, he's always searching out for the truth in the, in the drama, in the scene. Um, and I think that makes him a really good director. And he has quite a universal approach with that. He allows actors their space for process, however they get into a role or a scene and, you know, he'll do a lot of rehearsal with someone or with two people or with the whole scene or he'll just leave it alone or he'll talk about something technically from his point of view that needs, you know, a, a little bit of help from the actors to limit the choices but narrow it down to the frame that needs to work or the camera movement. But it, it's never not creative. I mean, I think there was a moral imperative with this story that was a big draw. I think as an actor, I, you know, it, it was very nice to play someone who's not a troubled genius, who is human and has flaws that are recognizable and is struggling with um, his own moral compass and, and sense of purpose and, and place within the story. And a, a really nice character arc to play, even though a supporting role. And 
you know, it, it's nice for me to be able to play a, a supporting role, especially in something that I care so much about. I think primarily this is a story about joy and hope and salvation, and it takes in uh, a very specific moment in our history uh, where very difficult questions were being asked of us is what is the correct response? How should we deliver justice for a massive um, atrocious act of terrorism? And what is it that defines us as opposed to that action? ends that justify the meaning it, you know it's a political thriller it's also a legal thriller you've got incredible character studies of strong-minded people on both sides of those arguments and at the center the front and center is this luminous human being this extraordinary man who i hope the audience will be um, charmed amused and heartbroken by